Okay, I'm wondering uh, what kind of delay there is. There's obviously a delay. Wow, that's a lot of noise, isn't it? Let's turn that down too. I'm starting the stream for about 10, 15 seconds without the sound on in my thing, and then I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so I'm today I'm testing um, the YouTube streaming service. Warm I don't know frozen I'd be boots necessarily by the fire. Be, um, streaming that much, really, but um, I thought I would, you know, try it out, see how it is. Um, so what I thought I'd start by doing is, okay, I've never played card games until I played Hearthstone. I never played Magic the Gathering. I never played. Trumps. I never played any card games. So, a lot of the concepts that younger people, <laughs> maybe those maybe not over 40, um, already knew about, like instinctively about card games, have been really hard for me to learn. And the other thing that's been really hard for me is that I feel like I should be able to make my own deck and succeed. I feel like I should be able to be a, um, you know, a to have a brain to put together my own deck to, su to succeed. The problem is that all the decks I make for myself fail in some way or another. Um, they work against certain classes, not against others, and blah, 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 blah. So, although I've been resisting for a year copying someone else's deck, I finally broke down and decided, okay, I'm just going to copy a Face Hunter deck, and I'm going to see how it goes. 
because I think what happens is you have, even though you should be able to eventually make your own decks, you sh if you don't understand card games or if you're not instinctually familiar with them, you need to play it for a while with something that's successful so that you, or that should be successful, so you can learn how to use a, a deck that is successful to other people, so you know if it's mistakes you're making or if it's your deck that's stupid. Yeah, that's what it is. So you know if it's, so if you know it's your mistakes and you need to learn to play better or if your deck just sucks. The other thing that I did was a recommendation from my friend Molson was get Trackabot. Because sometimes when you're laddering and you get like three losses in a row because you face three hand locks in a row or zoo locks or mech mages or whatever in a row, the ones you're bad against, you don't progress and you feel like your deck is bad. But if you keep track about up, you actually can see what your real success rate is and sometimes it's better than you think it is. So that's another thing. Also, you can see what successful people play <laughs> against you and you can think about why that worked and why it didn't work and so on. So I went to Trump's teachings and um, basically copied his face hunter, um, but not completely. So let's go to that. Okay, so Let's first look at my deck. It is not quite completely. Why is my stream health slightly bad? I wonder. What do you think that is? What I need to do to make it better. We'll deal with that some other time. Um. So this is the deck that um, I just want to make sure that my my stream isn't being echoey. Is also obviously I need to change my webcam around because that looks ridiculous. <sighs> Hang on, let's see. Obviously, this is the first time I'm doing this here with this scene set up, so give me this way. Yeah. It doesn't move anywhere that way. <laughs> there I am. Diablo over here. I am over here. Okay, sorry about that. I will try to edit that later if it's possible. I don't know how much you can do with editing. Okay, so. His deck um, had two abusive sergeants and two arcane golems. I switched out, okay, so first of all, he said Leroy Jenkins was a good card, and I actually can see that, because Leroy, Leroy Jenkins has um, six charge, and by the time you are going to be using his six charge, there's absolutely no reason why you should be scared of the two whelps that he summons. So, um, so I switched out my, the reason, I was wondering whether to switch out the Wolf Rider, or the arcane golem for that. Um, I thought about the fact that the arcane golem has four damage and the wolf rider has three. But the mono crystal means I'm scared of using the arcane golem more than the wolf rider. And the arcane golem has two health. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I've also looked at, I also want to look at Okay, so, um, a different charge one that I've looked at is this one, which has Divine Shield. 
So you can you're gonna be able to attack twice possibly with him. But he only has two, I guess. So if you attack with him and then so you get the two damage, and then you have a divine shield, but they are able to ping him twice because he only has one health, then you lose out on those extra two. So I guess that's why the divine shield isn't so great, because you potentially can only get two damage out. Right? Okay, and the second thing was the abusive sergeant, which I find incredibly annoying. Like, ridiculously so. Because this battle cry of give your minion plus two attack is so hard to get to work. The other card is Brave Archer, which has the exact same damage. It's battle cards different. When you when you do when you inspire, when you use a hero ability, it can potentially do two damage to the face. Which is awesome, right? But how often is your hand empty and you use inspire? But if you need that two extra damage, that's awesome. So like to the face, not to some other thing. So I decided just to swap one or two, one of each for now and test it against the innkeeper to see how that goes. Um, okay, let's leave it there for now. I want to talk about another day about potentially switching out the knife juggler because he irritates me that everybody has him. But let's just go with this for now. So we have an abusive sergeant, a brave archer, two leper gnomes, Morgan Infiltrator, oh, his Vuka, which I also don't really like, but I'll talk about that later. Two explosive traps, two quick shots, two hunter creepers, two iron big owl, uh, one iron big owl, two knife jigglers, two mad scientists, eagle, animal companion, kill command, unleash the hounds, arcane golem, wolfrider, and Leroy Jenkins. Okay, I'm gonna practice against an expert deck innkeeper because. I want to talk about my thinking, and you don't have a time limit against the keeper, so that's why I want to do it. Solo adventures. And... Is that a horrible microphone sound? Microphone sound? Let me just check with the other one. See if that is a better one. Edit scene. Versus Jaina! You ask for it. Tremble before the might of the elves. Okay, so. The basic premise is that you keep minions out of the start uh, and then use all your charges later. Little minions that you can clear the board with stick it out there to start and then you use your charge. Your charge and use the board. He'll command himself later to, 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 but you should get the face as much as possible after the food. Okay. 
Just be sure it's from my friend just there. But it says it's under his face, so like, because you need to face it. There are exceptions to this. Okay, so I'm not to be right. I want the man's I just want to try. Job's done. It's not counter spell. It's not ice block. It's not, I mean, it's not cross armor. Someday I'll be just like you! I can taste the mana! So I don't want to summon that and try to, like, dispel it. Although I have explosive anyway, so I can put that out. I'll show them! I'll show them all! I'll show them! I'll show them all!
mana? First kill. Job done. Valyria versus Thrall! For Doomhammer! Tremble before the might of the Elves. You shall not pass. Oh! <laughs> 
death comes. What does the future hold? Death comes. Doesn't matter. Job's done. Death comes. Job's done. Death comes. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Just that.